and just one last thing to discuss before we begin the course grade 9 this is your daily writing so much like your daily reading and just like in ELA 9A if you've already completed that course you're going to be asked to write in your writer's notebook which I will talk to you about in a second every single time you work on ELA now it doesn't need to be a long writing session, five, six, seven minutes will do, um, and you don't need to sit and write the best writing in the world. Quick writes, the whole purpose of a quick write is to sit, set a timer, and let the thoughts flow from your mind and onto the page with your pen. You don't censor yourself, you don't stop, you don't wait for the perfect sentence or word to come, you just pour your thoughts out onto the page. Where the reflection comes and the, the perfect wording and all of that comes afterwards. When you look back at your writing and when you have a conference with your teacher to discuss your writing. But quick writing is practice with just getting your brain to produce, produce, produce without that voice in your head that goes, hey, wait, your ideas are terrible. Okay, so this is practice to override that and to help you be a bit more creative. So in ELA 9, <clears throat> excuse me, in ELA 9B, you will also write in your writer's notebook every day or every time you work on ELA. In a brick and mortar classroom, we would do a five or six minute free write every day uh, if there were five one hour classes per week. And again, we would do it every day if we had two, two and a half hour classes per week, we would just write for longer, closer to 10 minutes per session. So your goal is to write for about five minutes a day if you're, excuse me, working on English Monday to Friday, or just aim for 25 minutes per week. So you might only do that, uh, sorry, you might do that in two 12 minute set uh, sittings, but that's up to you. Your writer's notebook, which can be a duotang with some loose leaf in it, it can be a Word document on the computer. Now, I do recommend that you write by hand because there's a whole bunch of science that says that that is a lot better for your brain with a pen, pencil, and a notebook. Uh, but if you don't have access to that, you can absolutely uh, use a Word document or your or OneNote or whatever it is you enjoy writing in. Your writer's notebook is your safe place for writing practice. You take your practice shots in there. I would never, as a gym teacher, throw you a basketball if you'd never seen one before and then tell you I was going to mark you on how well you threw your first basket. Okay, so you're going to notice in this course we will start with, for example, writing to persuade. We will practice lots. We will look at examples. Your writing prompts for your daily writing will get you practicing writing to persuade before you ever receive a mark. Okay, so this is your practice space. I will provide a prompt. Now, at the start of each unit, watch out for some prompts. If we carry on, so for example, if we have exploring writing to persuade and then unit two is deepening writing to persuade, there is only one set of prompts for that and you'll find it in unit one, okay? But when the, when the course changes to say Romeo and Juliet and we're not looking at persuasive writing, we're looking at the love theme now, you'll find a new set of writing prompts for your daily writing. They can be a sentence, a question, a poem, a picture, a video, or a sentence starter, these prompts. They're prompts to get you thinking. You do not need to use them. You can choose to use them if, they, if you want, but you can write whatever you want, grade 9, as long as it is school appropriate. Work on an ongoing draft of a story or create a book of poetry in your, in your uh, quick writing time, but just make sure you're doing it. Twice during this course, and once at the very end, so three total, one of which being your final exam interview, your daily writing will be assessed for marks in a writing conference. So you will produce writing every time you work on ELA, and then two times during the course, you'll be asked to uh, pull out your favorite piece of writing that you've written so far, um, and you'll share it with your teacher at a Microsoft Teams meeting. They will give you feedback, they will mark you, uh, they may ask to have evidence that you have written every single day. Okay, so it will be tracked for marks. You will not have to hand in every single piece of writing practice from your writer's notebook. You will just have to share one or two here and there to prove that you're doing it, to receive a mark, and to help you grow. This is just to show you grade nine, an example of when you're working through Canvas, what the quick write prompts look like. So it will come up as a PDF document. Um, it should preview directly below. You can download this to your computer and save it offline. You can print it if you'd like. Uh, and then you'll see first the written prompts, then the photo prompts, and a couple of units have some video prompts at the very end as well. You'll notice grade nine, see this is quick write prompts for the unit writing to persuade. Every prompt 
is getting you to think about convincing your reader or writing about something that you really want to dig into and and um, and learn more about but really the right quick write prompts are designed to go perfectly with the unit that you're working within.